Hey everyone, this is Mike. Hey, and this is Josh. And we are Real Dead. And today we're going to look at something that um, I think a lot of people in the horror community will know about it, Josh. But mm -hmm. we were thinking about, I, I watched all three of these, but this is fan film, Never Hike Alone, Never Hike in the Snow, and then yep. Never Hike Alone 2, right? Yes, yes. Um, this is done by, I think, um, Wampum Stompum Films. They also have a YouTube channel, Wampum Stompum. I don't know. I think it's just called Womp Stomp. Womp Stomp. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, I, they have a. They also have a YouTube channel where they do stuff on there, um, horror related things. Um, and yeah, these are some of the best made fan films. And I hate to call it a fan film because these are legit, very good in my opinion. Um, I think this is probably one of the best takes. After rewatching all the Friday Thirteenth recently. This is actually one of the best takes on a Jason, in my opinion. I mean, it's very good. What would be fun, Josh, is going back and do and mix in these three with the other 12 and see how these would rank, if any of these would rank above those 12. Yeah, no doubt. They that would. would. That, that would be a fun little video. So we may have to do that down the road. Right. And um, this is, I mean, and this is that this is part of the Tommy Jarvis trilogy, in my opinion. This would go off of four, five, and six. This would go right off well, like probably like one, two, three, and then you could go four, five, and six, and then you could um go right into these, in my opinion. That's how you would want to probably watch it. Yeah, so we're gonna bring up each three of the each three of them, kind of give you the IMDB rating. They're they're big enough that IMDB rated them, um, and and then we'll, Josh is going to give his 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 three, and then I'll give you my three. But um, let's go back to the original first one here. We'll throw it up on the on the screen here. Um, Never hike alone. Um, yeah, Womp Stomp Films. It's a volunteer. You know, I don't think they can really make money off of it, but. Synopsis is a hiker's survival skills are put to the test when he stumbles upon the remains of an old abandoned camp and discovers its long, dark secret. Yep. And director is Vincent DeSanti. Writers is Sean Cunningham and Vincent DeSanti and Ron Kurz. And the stars got Drew Lighty, Vincent DeSanti, and Katie Schwartz. Yep. I really like this one. The only thing that I say that kind of draws this down is the ending with the paramedics. I mean, it's cool to see Tommy Jarvis too. Cause you're like, Whoa, Tommy Jarvis is a paramedic. Um, but then you're kind of like, wait, how did this, how did this ambulance get out here? He doesn't have a phone. He like, how did it get out here to get him? Um, they actually explain that later in a, in the, in the second film, but it's kind of like, uh, you know, and then sorry, I know this is a fan film, but the acting from a couple of the, uh, paramedics is really bad in my opinion um but i love this one because i think it's really cool because it takes place from like a youtuber i mean we know what that's like vlogging and stuff um for our, our other channels but like we know about that mike keeps on showing this hand-to-hand -hand combat i don't know i don't know why the heck the imdb has this on here i don't know yeah I'm like i don't know what you're doing here but i would just get off of it yeah okay. i did i did Okay. I must have been um, watching the final girls from Friday the 13th, and that's why I wanted to watch them all. Oh, okay. So I really like this one just because it is a guy out there that didn't know, you know, where he was at. But then once he realized he knew the stories and all that. And like I said, I love this uh, this this version of Jason. I think they call him Ghost Jason. Is that what they call him, Mike? Yeah, I think um, so. And I like in his mask. I don't know if it's because of copyright or whatever. It doesn't have any markings on it, meaning it doesn't have like the red marks. Do you ever notice that? Like the red slashes here and then the red yeah. up here. Now, the thing I did notice in this was he was in a room looking around and there was a hockey mask in there, but it was from like the part five or it was like from part five, but it was just like in the promotional where like the, the eyes are lit up red and it's got all those holes in the mask. And I saw that in there. I thought that was kind of a cool Easter egg. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. I think it's really well made and, uh, yeah, it's great. Yeah. I think it's really good as well. The one thing I think it's funny and kind of me and my wife kind of picked up on it and you and I talked about it and I laugh a little bit about it 
is the uh, over exaggeration of Jason Walken. I mean, it's like thump, 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 thump. Um, it's, 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 I didn't know. I, the first time I watched it, I didn't really know. I noticed it, but I didn't notice it. But when you watch it for a second, third time, it's like, whoa. Yeah. But um, I thought, I thought uh, Vincent did a good job playing Jason. Uh, yeah. I think he, he plays Jason in it. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, th- I think it's, it's good. I like how I, I think the main actor who plays the YouTuber you're talking about, my wife and I were talking about, it, she says, man, he's a really good actor. I, I think he's a good actor. Yep. Uh, I like and all, th- I and all three of them I've seen that he was in, or at least the first and third one, he's in a lot of them too. He he's, he's solid. <laughs> yep. Yep. And I like that. He actually like, like I like in this one where when the people fight Jason, they actually like they actually can do something against him instead of like him being like super human strength or whatever. I mean, he has a lot of strength, but I meant like they actually can kind of put up a little bit of a fight with him, which I I enjoy that. All right, Josh. The second one that came in this trilogy is Never Hike in the Snow. That's right. And uh, it got a six point seven, and um. So it says three months prior to the events of Never a Hike Alone 2017 that follows the strange disappearance of Mark Hill, a Crystal Lake resident who went for a hike in the dead of winter and never came home. Right. And I do like this because you get to see Jason in a winter setting. And it's a pretty cool kill right off the bat. You get to see Jason use a bow and arrow, which I do like because he has done that. And I do like um, the axe kill to the guy's mouth. I thought it looks decent. Um, but yeah, this one is a prequel to the original. These do kind of mess with the timeline a lot, like between the three movies is what I'm saying. Um, but this one is enjoyable, but to me, it's not as enjoyable. Um, the end scene, the cop that gets his head blown off, that's pretty cool. But, um, I don't know. I mean, for the most part, I think this one's just okay. So I never picked up that this is supposed to be a prequel to the first one. Yeah. Yep. I did not know that. Hmm. Um, how does, does anything in this refer back to the first one? I think I know that it's a pre a prequel. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think about that right now. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, this one, this one's okay to me. I love the concept and we've talked about this before with like, even somebody like a scream, you know, Ghostface or like Friday the 13th, Jason. I mean, you know, if he lived in that area up there that, you know, in New Jersey, that would there'd have snow. to be, there'd be some kind of snow sometime. Yep. And that would be, you know, I, I know a lot of those places probably shut down the winter times. They don't have Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts coming, but still it would be a kind of cool, cool, um, you know, a, a cute concept, a cool concept. And they did try it in this one. And uh, it, you know, it's not bad, but I think no. of the three of the three, it's probably my yeah. least favorite of the three. But it's still yep. still a good fan film. Yeah, definitely. All right, and it also got a six point seven. The other one got a six point eight, so it it wasn't far off from there. No, uh, I, it does have. Uh, it's got Tom Matthews, Vincent uh, Gustafaro. Isn't that the guy that played in one of the original Friday Thirteenth movies as well? Yeah, the Ya Bang. Yeah, you bang, and then Brian Force is in it, and again the director and writer yep. is Vincent Desanti, and he also plays Jason as well. So let's go and look at the third one here. All right, Josh, the second one, or actually it's the third, the third of these on how they came out. Never hike alone two. It says twenty years after the last sighting of Jason Voorhees, Crystal Lake resident and former victim Tommy Jarvis still lives with the haunting notion that Jason will one day return. Uh, writers Victor Miller, Sean Cunningham, Vincent DeSanti, director Vincent DeSanti, stars Tom Matthews, Vincent Gestefero, Drew Lighty. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so this so is this, the, the final one, right? Right. And so this one, so this is how I explain, this is how I would explain the timeline. Never hike in the snow first. This movie is second. The first movie takes place during this movie because at the beginning you see the hitchhikers there in the, in the woods or not the hitchhiker, the guy, the YouTuber. And he's like, Oh crap, that police are here. He goes, 
uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then that's ha then he goes off on his trip with Jason. And then the rest of this movie and then some of this movie's happening while he's doing that. Um, and also um, it shows Jason kill two people in a tent that this guy stumbles upon that the YouTuber. But also they they do show other things that happen in the other movies um, as well. So to me, this is technically the second movie. The first movie takes place during this movie. Um, so, so it's almost yeah. like Never Hike Alone and Never Hike in the Snow kind of is a standalone in a way. That Never Hike in the Snow is first. That's yeah. number one. Then I would say watch. Uh, I mean, I guess you watch part one, but this, I mean, this has vital information in it. For part one, I mean, this shows you kind of like. Well, what's I, th I think I like the way the director Vincent put them. They kind of all mingle back in together. Yes, I do like it. I think this movie does. I like this movie a lot. I think some of the kills are really great. Jason's awesome again. I think some of the lines are pretty cheesy, but that's you know that's Friday the Thirteenth. You know, he's got a death curse. Um, but like you know, I, I do think this movie does suffer a little bit because it is a little too long in spots. Things drag on maybe a little too long. And they just, they go back to stuff that we've previously already seen in the other movies. Um, and I think that drags it down a bit, in my opinion. So I do like this one. The kill with the Yabang guy where Jason just implodes his head is incredible. Yep. Yeah, and actually uh, on, they're trying to raise money for like this all three coming into one set. I think it's the final cut. And if you donate or give enough money in one of the tiers, I think you can get one of the heads of Vincent Gust Gustav Farrow. Now, it's a pretty oh. good amount of money, but yeah, I think they have you know extra ones they had made and uh, they had some left over. So, um, hey, Josh, so what, also, what is your opinion on Also, I want to say one thing. The mother's head in the first movie looked all right. The mother's head in this one, looked really bad in my opinion yeah and, and number three i if i had some call outs on that one it would be the head it definitely did not it it did not look that great but again it's a fan film there ain't you know right special effects and stuff i mean some of the special oh, i enjoyed, it. I enjoyed it for sure uh i thought the third one i love the hospital scene it reminded me yeah. of i was telling my wife i said this is like Halloween too. You're like you're going to the Jason goes to the hospital, you know, and he, yeah. he starts killing everybody as a badass in there. And and when he well, you know, you know, part three was supposed to be that originally of night of uh, Friday Friday the Thirteenth, mm -hmm. but Halloween two just came out and they didn't want to seem like they were like you know copying again. So Amy Steele was actually supposed to be in the hospital. Her character Jenny and Jason was going to come after her there, but they were like, no, can't do that because. Halloween just did that. So, um, but yeah, so my ranking of these is Never Hike Alone, the original, Never Hike Alone 2, and then Never Hike in the Snow. That's my, that's the, I, that's the way I like it. Because like to me, Never Hike Alone, the first one is an awesome standalone film. I didn't need to watch either one of these to really enjoy that one. I think some of these you kind of need to watch the other movies to understand the whole story this one you don't really in my opinion right number um, one now my opinion i like two the best then the one and then the snow three now the snow is only like 37 minutes this last one's like an hour and 13 minutes is what it says and the very first one was like right at an hour wasn't it i mean it, 50 right. some minutes 53 like that. minutes i think something yeah so uh Hey, if you've never watched these, again, they're free on YouTube. Go yep. check them out. Uh, yeah, me, definitely. My wife had not watched them before. And then uh, this past Saturday night, we just went down a rabbit hole of watching one snow and then two. And um, even my wife enjoyed them. She, I, I kind of like the whole YouTube story with the guy and, and him trying to talk to his fans and stuff. So yep. definitely check it out. Josh, what do people need to do? Hey, man, they need to like, comment, and subscribe to Real Dead for more content. We're going to have a lot more content coming up. Uh, we're actually attending a horror con very soon in the beginning of October. 
And uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for some of those videos and go check us out on Facebook. Right, Mike? Yeah, Real Dead Horror Community. Uh, definitely check us out there if you're old enough to be on Facebook. Only the old heads are on there. But yeah. have a good one, Josh. See you now. Bye.